Shooter to catch ready. Stay on. <laughs> yeah, team train wreck. Good boy 32 here. Check it out. I was not only the locomotive, I was all the cars and the caboose on those two days down there at the USPSA Multi Gun Nationals. If it could go wrong, it went wrong. And I've got no one to blame but myself. And the mainly reason why, you can be a great shooter. Uh, however, there's a lot of things in these competitions that if you are not practicing all the time or you're exposed to all the time, one, your nerves are going to be shot. Two, you're going to go outside the boundaries. Uh, you're going to go uh, the fault lines. They're going to be out there. You're going to stick your toe outside of this. You're going to forget about targets over here. At least I saved a lot of money by not engaging targets. I got to think of it like that. So what I'm going to do here, I got seven different videos here. I want to show you guys a uh, brief input from each one of them and then uh, show them to you. Now, some of these, these are not my best runs, uh, but they're not, yeah, one of them is my worst, most embarrassing run of my entire life. So I'm hoping that you guys will laugh with me and possibly learn from this, okay? Because a lot of folks uh, have asked about how to get into three gun or multi gun. And it's a lot of fun. It really is. So you really don't want to be over intimidated by this, but you want to go into it prepared and ready to go. So this first stage, uh, this was our very first stage of the event. This is Saturday morning of stage six. Uh, this is shooting through one, two, three, four, five portals. What did I do? My traditional thing, I completely run over one of the portals and forget about it, uh, giving me penalties of a failure to neutralize, a failure to engage uh, on four targets on the very first stage. So here we go. Watch this. So yeah, is your six covered? Rick is actually my cameraman, and on a lot of these stages, he's actually filming me, and you can see him going, no, 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 and he can't say anything because that's a procedural on him. But in any case, it is what it is. Now, the second stage of our day was actually stage one of the, uh, the, the, the multi-gun event. We thought we were gonna go to from stage six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Well, they sent us from six to one. We had not walked any of those stages in the two days. So uh, this particular stage, uh, we were shooting out the 628 yards. There were five or six uh, steel targets. They were big targets, IDPA targets. There were two paper targets at 400 yards. That was kind of weird. Uh, didn't have any issues hitting those things. Probably shot more rounds than I wanted. But uh, And then we went into the, uh, the jungle run with the shotgun. I'm going to stop you <laughs> prior to the end of it because i got to pre-warn you. I had blinders on. And they had a fault line. Hold on, let's play it. Hey! It. So 
<laughs> the RO said, man, you had blinders on, and if there was a, a swamp there, I think you would have probably gone through it, but he was right. Now, I totally had blinders on, uh, fault lines didn't mean anything to me, and I just knew that there was a steel target up there ready to get a slug to the head, and I went after it. So, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> the, the RO was like, well, where are you going? So anyway, that was a lot of fun. Now, this next stage here, uh, this is the shoot house. The only thing I would say here is that uh, a lot of times you think you're just hauling ass. And then you look at the video and you look like an old 85-year-old man uh, running around uh, at the grocery store. Now, Hawaiian 3-Gunner, I got it. I don't need any more of it, so we're working on it. Here we go. So clear. Yeah. The only bad part about that one is I did miss the two slug targets, but other than that, ran it pretty smoothly. Not a problem. Uh, did a couple standing uh, reloads, quad loads with the shotgun, probably could eliminate those. This next upcoming event, you've already seen this on the uh, <laughs> uh, previous week video, did pretty good with this one. Of all the 12 stages, I only ran one clean. Guys, I had close to damn 200 penalty points in this thing. And it, it just blew me away. Now, my total, my mission here was to finish in the above 25%, and we did. We finished, Rick and I, actually Rick, uh, is your six cover, finished 124th, and I, I finished 125 after, out of 160 shooters. I think that's close to whatever it is. All right, so in this stage, we're gonna go ahead and throw the bird, uh, the clay pigeon up, engage that one, and, and move on to the other ones. And you will see there's a little clay pigeon that I missed, and that was failure to engage and take out the target, I guess. Anyway, we had a good time. I did have uh, the mag dropped out uh, on the initial shot and set up. If I'm going to run the oversized mag release, which I absolutely love, uh, made by x ring himself, I need to, and I only had a couple problems with that during practice, is I really need to concentrate on working around that thing. Uh, but other than that, I kind of messed up my mag changes because we had to reach down, go on. I was limited because the mag, I want to do a mag change as I ran over to the side targets. And then another mag change as I ran to the rear of the stage. Stand by. It's the last one of the day. All right, you guys, we are at stage five, Coda Boys, here at the Multi Gun Nationals. Nice. Oh, get some, get some. Get some! Get some! 
Uh oh. Oh shit. So here we are. This is the first stage of the following day, stage 12. And everything was going really smooth with this guy uh, until, again, a procedural a mine fart. Uh, as I went for the rifle, there were two rifle uh, targets over to the right-hand side. I immediately turned to the left, engaged the uh, popper, uh, they activated a swinger, and then went to the prone to take out the uh, plate rack. I think it was at 80 yards or whatever it was and came up out of the prone and started running. And the guys were like, oh. And yep, uh, went ahead and engaged the standing plates, took those down with a uh, two birds, and uh, that was it. But I missed the uh, swinger and I missed those two targets, which killed me. I think that was 15 uh, something points on there. I can't quite remember. All right, anyway, this is uh, stage 12, our first yeah, stage of the day. Hey, we're in Florida, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Everything flies right here. Flies, yeah. bugs. Yeah, yeah, 10 seconds to get the fly. Slugging those. He, he might turn. I know. Okay. Hey! 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 Oh. Oh. Finished unloading so clear. Shotgun is clear. Okay. Nine nine five seven. Hey, boy. Let's see what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got to keep rolling right. for sure. Yeah, and let me tell you. All right, flag, bolt. Hey, John. You trying to make my job easy? What? Did I forget the rifle targets? Forgot them. I know. I wanted to tell you, but I can't. Nope. We all want to. There it is. We all, yeah, exactly. We all all right. Not a bad run. Hmm. Okay. That one went pretty smooth. I, I really was, uh, you know, even though I had the misses and the procedurals, I was okay with it. Now, here is probably my most embarrassing moment of the day. There, This is a 100% shotgun run, which I should have smoked. We've practiced and practiced and practiced with that shotgun, that Briley handguard. You can actually reach over top of the barrel like this and jam it. As a matter of fact, when I start doing four to quad load on this one, watch me as I reach over the top of it. I was like, where, where did I learn that? Uh, secondly, as I go shoot through the portal 
watch as I transition over to shoot the clay pigeons and I put the shotgun on top of my arm. That one was kind of funny. But the embarrassing part is I started the stage with not enough ammo to finish it. And I was that was stupid because I do have a chest rig and I should have run and got that thing or borrowed one. So at least I'd have had enough ammo to finish. But uh, it, was a, it was quite embarrassing. And I think I had like almost, uh, there was over a hundred penalty points just on this one stage. Had I not, had I just finished that stage, Think about that. Think about this. That would have been 100 points. I, if I had upped, I would have probably placed at least 15, 20 sh uh, shooters higher. Here we go. Step by. Huge disappointment because when he said, if you are finished on the show clear, I was like, yeah, I'm done and it's clear. <laughs> and what do you do at that point but just sit there and laugh at yourself? All right, so this last stage here, um, what I did was, I, my stage plan was a little bit different from the other guys. What I did was I wanted to come up, uh, engage the two paper targets, then go and shoot the actu actuator that was going to bring a swing out. And that was the game plan, but I got caught up trying to get the steel target behind there. It hit, took rounds off, which it caused me. I did the same thing to the other side, and I should have taken it with the shotgun, and that caused me to have to do a mag change while I was on my knees down at the end, shooting through the portal at the end. And if I had not done that, that was at least five to 10 seconds right there. But anyway, this was my game plan right here. Are you ready? Stand by. Now that game plan ran pretty clear other than the fact that I couldn't figure out what gun to use and a brain fart in that barrel. And this is where I'm going back. Uh, running competitions. Uh, I, I need to probably shoot at least once, once every month or once every other month just to keep yourself in tune to what's going on at a match. And you could tell X-Ring and Ray, even uh, Rick, they had their shit together when it came down to the end. It was a lot of fun watching those guys. Their concentration levels were to such a degree that I was envious. I just can't get my mind wrapped around something like that. Uh, 
and it really, really, really showed. So uh, this year, I, I plan on going ahead. We're going to run one next week. I've uh, got Brady Long, Sam Long up there in Nebo. He shoots a, a four stage on the second Saturday of every month. Uh, I think July 11th is the next one he's going to run, and I'm planning on being there. Uh, Brady Long, I think, finished uh, 17th or something like that. He, uh, he won the junior championship. He's going to be 18 in a couple of days, so happy birthday there, young man. All right, just want to thank my friends. Uh, is your six covered? Uh, interesting enough, he placed 124th. I was 125th out of 160 shooters. I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, X-Ring finished uh, 55th in uh Overall, I think a seventh place finish on the limited, and Rob uh, placed 70th, shooting uh, overall. I'm not sure what his placement was uh, in shooting open class. But anyway, guys, that was a lot of uh, cool times, really hot. Uh, found out I need to transfer those wheels from plastic over to uh, rubber pneumatic wheels on the uh, battle wagon, which shouldn't be a problem. I've already got those ordered. Um, but anyway, practice, practice, practice. Uh, fault lines. <laughs> engaging targets. Count your targets. Know how many you got to hit and memorize them before you get out there. With that being said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Go to Boy32. I'm out. Y'all be good.